Today we profile Mary Bremer, a.k.a. the prison angel. She grew up as a striking blonde, lived in Beverly Hills, amongst movie stars and mansions. She lived in a mansion. Fell in love with a guy, married him, moved down the street to a bigger mansion. They had two children. They got divorced. She fell in love with another guy. This guy had a bigger mansion just a couple blocks down the street, still in Beverly Hills. They had five children. So then she raised seven children. It's 1976. She's 52 years old. The second husband dies. The last of the seven children had just moved out. All Mary Brenner had ever known in 52 years was mansions, money, Hollywood stars as friends. Friends. She sells the mansion. She sells the late husband's two businesses. And she becomes a nun. And she goes to Tijuana, Mexico, and walks into the La Mesa prison, the worst prison in all of Mexico. It housed 9,500 of the worst hombres in all of Mexico. She went at age 52 from mansions, Beverly Hills, to become a nun. She walks into that La Mesa prison and asks the warden for a 10 foot by 10 foot cell. And that became her mansion for the last 34 years of her life. 10 foot by 10 foot. She became the prison angel. And these 9,500 hombres became her sons. Then in 2003, she decides, I'm going to start a new order of nuns. And we're going to call them the servants of the 11th hour. And these were women in their 70s and 80s, in their 11th hour of their life, that wanted to become nuns and give back to the poor. The servants of the 11th hour. A couple of Pulitzer Prize winning reporters from the Washington Post spent three years researching her life and wrote a book entitled The Prison Angel. Then a documentary film was produced entitled The Prison Angel, narrated by Susan Sarandon and released in 2010. She died on October 17, 2013. And that morning she asked some of her fellow nuns to roll her through the prison so that she could say goodbye to her 9,500 sons. She's a modern-day saint, Mother Antonia. In 2007, she wrote me her philosophy of life. God's mercy endureth forever. Knowing that, I am complete in his holy will. My philosophy is Christ teaching, seek and you shall find. In each person is a holy and glorious image of God. If need be, I shall seek and encounter it and look upon each person as a sacrament. I pray to carry hope as Johnny Appleseed and spread it throughout the world. To be kind, to be kind, to be kind are the steps to a joy-filled life. To love mercy and to walk in peace with all mankind is to live in harmony with the universe. Peace, love, mercy. Mother Antonio Bremer. That's the story of Sister Mother Antonia. Thank you for watching. Until we meet again, 
Please remember, with God, anything is possible. Spawn.